Hello, I'm Sho. I'm Pixel. Today we'll be playing some Ghost Trick Phantom Detective. Thank you to the Re-Engine for making this game possible. Do you remember what the Re-Engine stands for? I want to say something, but I think I've been watching too many VR tubers. Re. Sorry. That's a deal. <laughs> nice. So, you were streaming this on Twitch, weren't you? Yep. And I got that vibe on my channel. Go to www.twitch.com slash I don't know the rest of the... Go to www.shala.com I'll try and make that a real thing. I think it'd be the Resident Evil engine because it made its debut there. You would think so, but Detective Comics used to be Action Comics before it became Detective Comics. Batman has so much money in his universe that Action Comics became Detective Comics. Yeah. And he wasn't even the first superhero. There was the magician. Father of Zatanna. Yeah. So Meowskarada and Zatanna are kind of the same. Glass cannons who can do a lot of fun shit but are limited by their own worlds. So if Meowskarada's name is put backwards, hmm? what would happen? He'd go back to his own dimension. Hey! Yeah, that, that would track. Where Poipol is a starter Pokemon. Anyway, uh, RE engine stands for Reach for the Moon engine. Wouldn't that be RFTM? Yeah, they, they're only using the first two letters. The first word. That's how armies use acronyms. Fair. Enough preamble, but. Let's get this game into motion. We are starting with this frame of mind. <laughs> Must have been unconscious for a while. My head head feels fuzzy, kind of like I'm in some kind of darkness. When I came to, there was a woman standing there. A woman I don't know. At least I don't think I know her. And then there was a man with a gun. I don't know him either. Well, probably not anyway. Now I'm not the kind of guy who's going to stand back and watch a pole when we get shot, but I just have one little problem. I'm already dead myself. <laughs> dead yourself. He truly was on the line. This has got to be me, no question about that. After all, do you see any other dead bodies laying around here? So long, sister. I feel bad for her, so, but what can I do? I'm dead. But just as I was thinking this, there's no time to be lolling around dead. You're the only one who can save her. Mm. What, what the? The whole world has just changed around me. 
Welcome to the ghost world, the land of the dead. A voice in my head, who are you? No time for introducing introductions now. You have to save her. I know you can do it. All you have to do is use your powers. Huh? Me? Saber? Uh, how? Take a look at your corpse. Do you see that blue flame? That's your soul. And do you see that bright white spot nearby? That's a core. Core? Hmm. Just looks like a railway, railway crossing gate to me. But the best way to understand is just to try it. So you're moving from soul to... Huh. Soul has now possessed the crossing gate. I'll see you at the crossroads. Ha. <laughs> nice. So what? Now I'm a crossing gate? Mm -hmm. Now then, using the, use the cross gate to save the room. What? But how? In a moment, time will start for Flow no Okay, this will be your choice. Listen, when the man pulls the trigger, the woman dies, right? So before that happens, you have to use your powers to stop it. Uh, hey, wait a second. I still don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you'll see, you'll see. Now then, time will start to flow again. Hold it! Well played. Uh, what does that happen? That was one of your powers that one. A ghost check. You mean I, you mean I made that crossing gate move? That's right, you manipulated that, that object with the power of the dead. Ghost check. And all you have to do is to perform a trick like that is press A. Now the woman's fate has changed. Albeit just a little. Yes, she still kind of has, still kind of has a gun pointed at it. Yes. Hmm. Nothing else good, not good, is it? At least now you're starting to figure out how to use your powers. So I, I entered the ghost world with the ghost to possess an object, and then trick a hoe, perform a hoe with it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Get it? Yep. Nice. Now you're getting it. Let's move on to the next step. Try possessing a different chord. I see a guitar then, is it? Uh huh. Hey, what do you want? I would prefer that giant wreck ball. That would have solved the problem with the hook of it. But I guess I can't reach chords that are too far away. Well, I guess we'll see what we can do with that guitar. Set time motion and then find out. Who's there? Hold it! Uh, that's gotta be some of the slurs running away I've ever seen. She definitely wasn't on track here. I did track in high school. Mm -hmm. I, I wanted to do like traveling or polo or something, but. They didn't let me compete. Hmm, looks like I'm gonna have to come up with something more. Let's see what core is close enough for me to possess for you. That's all there is is me. Your time to be picky. Picky, I've got a woman to save. I like your attitude. It's a miracle, truly, a miracle, truly, but, but what? If I can manipulate objects, then I'll be able to manipulate my own corpse, right? Well, tell you what, why don't we just try and see, try and see. Go ahead and possess your corpse. Alright, now we'll set time on Huh? Nothing's happening. Exactly. Sad but true, I'm afraid. You can only manipulate non-living things. Corpses 
even if they aren't alive anymore, aren't really just ordinary things. You gotta be kidding me. Wait, what about the woman? What's happening to her? Let's take a look, shall we? If you want to take a look around, you can move the screen. Move the screen. It's easy. Here, give it a try. Well, sister, this is it. Two things are looking pretty dim right now. My eyesight and your future. Sure thing. <clears throat> it's done. I'm on my way. And then it looks like your fate remains unchanged. So what good are these ghost chicks of mine? But just as I was thinking this. Desk light. Hello there. How are you feeling? Not very well, I imagine. Terrible tragedy. What happened tonight? Ah, ignore me, are you? It's a little too early for you to be so stiff and cold, I'd say. Ah, so it was you. You were in you were in that voice in my head, right? Well I wouldn't say voice exactly. The dead don't have voices, you see. It's more like my thoughts were being beamed directly into your mind. Did you get on TikTok? It's not TikTok, it's Pokemon Go. Or you can Pokemon Go yourself later. Fine. That's another little trick ghosts can do. It looks like my ghost tricks didn't do much good. So ended up just as dead as before. That's true for now. For now? I still have much to teach you about the powers of the dead. Your ghost tricks. Who exactly are you anyway? Before I enter that, I think we should save this young lady. Isn't it a shame to see such a pretty young woman lying there like a discarded piece of trash? What can I do? She's already dead. Time for more ghost lessons for you, my friend. First of all, I'll have you possess me. Possess you, eh? Once you've done that, I'll tell you about another one of your powers. Why am I so determined to save this woman? After all, it's not like I know her. But I guess I'll take the desk lamp on his invitation anyway. My reason is twofold. Number one, I'm not the type, of, type to leave a woman lying around discarded like trash. And number two, I don't have anything else to lose at this point. Trick your time! That thought bubble you just pressed. These are your thoughts. What you're trying to say to yourself. You're saying to yourself in your head. My thoughts, eh? So the dead don't have voices. And what you think is communicated directly to one another. So these thought bubbles are sort of a stand in. I think I'm starting to get it. I think so too. Just remember to keep an eye out for thought bubbles. Okay, good idea. 
just might get some important clues from me. Now, in order to possess me, you have to enter the ghost mode. Now is your ticket in. Best thing to do is to try. Oh, eh? I guess I'll press it. Mm -hmm. What about it? It tells you what trick you can perform for the object you're currently possessing. The information is there for you to check out whenever you need it. So in the case of this folding pot, it looks like it, I can unfold it. And to perform a trick on the object you're possessing, you first have to return to the land of the world. Okay. This time, B is your ticket out of the ghost world. Well, good luck. We're counting on you. Huh? Who's this weed? Huh, that's fun. What is? Hmm. Why did I look so stinky? My corpse and her corpse. There's definitely something different about the two. There's something emanating from my corpse. That's because you're special. What's that supposed to mean? Not everybody who dies gets special powers, you know. So those waves are because of my powers of the dead, eh? Anyway. Congratulations, you passed. Well, what do you know? What prize do you get? And a new power, what else? Another one? Now let's review. You can possess objects and manipulate them, right? What do you suppose will happen if you possess a corpse? Nothing, because I already tried that, remember? And nothing happened at all. True, you don't have the ability to manipulate a corpse. However, there's something else you can do. Oh yeah, what's that? Why don't you try it and see? this? Can you hear me? Wait a minute, what's going on here? Hmm. Yeah, it's a, you say. Hmm. It looks like she's unconscious. Poor thing. Unconscious? But she's dead. Yes, but think back. Remember when you died? When you came to your senses, you've been unconscious too. Conscious, eh? Come to think of it, that desk, the desk lamp is right. When I came to, I, I was already dead. Let's, you. let's leave her like this for now. And while she's resting, we can save her life. Oh, sure. You make it sound so easy. And it is easy. When you use your powers on a corpse, you can go back to the past to a time four minutes before the per that person's death. It's a fun. Huh. Are you serious? Back through time? Well, that's right, but there is a catch. It only works on new corpses, corpses that have been dead for less than one day. And she's still well within that limit. You might want to give it a try before it's too late. But this is crazy. None of it makes any sense. We're talking about the powers of the dead here. It doesn't have to make sense. Now then, let's go, shall we? To, to the time four minutes before this woman was murdered. Uh, hey, wait a second. 
I still, I still don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you'll see, you'll see. Note to self, print out one of those clocks. So now I'm going back in time to witness this woman's last four minutes alive. Not as a fuzzy, distant memory of the past, but as a very real, living present. Wake up! Are you okay? What happened to you? Oh no, he's dead. Who are you? Yeah, I think that was her one. Oh. Who are you? He, he's my business card right here, sister. My little golden friend. You did this. You killed him, didn't you? Instead of playing who done it right now, you ought to be more concerned about your own fate. Who are you? Some sort of hitman? What do you want with me? They said we had to rub out all the last traces of Temsk left in this country. Temsik. Temsik. Temsik? What in the world is that? Beats me. I just do what I'm told. All I know is you've got nowhere else to run. Time to die, sister. As long as that bad boy wrecking ball stays right up, there's where it belongs. Look, all I want to know is, who are you? You don't know me, and I don't know you. This is just business. So long, sister. A shotgun? What kind of flashy weapon for a hit? Kind of a flashy weapon for a hitman, don't you think? Not flashy, just thorough. They call me nearsighted Chico, but I'd never let my prey go away. Ever thought about just buying a pair of glasses? Well, sister, this is it. Two things are looking pretty dim right now. My eyesight and your future. Oh, I thought you traveled back in time to find another way to solve the puzzle. And there you have it, the last four minutes of her life. No! It's kind of ironic when you think about it. A woman toyed with by fate and a man toyed with by a ghost. But she still died. Yes, and you can change that with your ghost tricks. Just like you did four minutes ago. Possess and manipulate. Ghost and then trick. And you can rewind these four minutes as many times as you'd like to. Now then, are you ready? Yeah, let's do it. So this is four minutes ago, eh? Fine, I get that. But what am I doing way down here? That's just how it works. Her corpse was your gateway into the past, after all. So naturally, your starting point is where her corpse was. This is where she died. Okay, I get it now. Hop in, then. Trick time. There are only four. Oh, let's see there are only four minutes left before she dies. You'd better try and get her as fast as you can. 
get to her. There's no time to lose. The last seconds of her life are counting down. Looks like I better get up there fast. Uh, that's right. Have a look at the right side of the screen. Right side, eh? That sand is at the top of the timer is how much time she has left. Get to her quickly before all that sand is gone. Up you go then. Oh, the flag. Just one. And then look. Whoop. Up we go. Oh, nice. Just a few more steps. I hope I can make it in time. Now's your chance to change your face. There isn't much time left. This is coming down to a battle of seconds. Hong Kong. <laughs> Damn it, what's going on here? Nearsighted Chigo never misses as long as the target's within point blank range. Looks like you made it in time. Just barely. Yep, she's still alive. And in that split second, hope was born. Just now, her fate was changed, albeit ever so slightly. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. The bridge is off. Oh, I see what you're doing. You hear something? I'm flat. How does it feel to save a lady's life? So the danger is gone? Yes, it looks like the danger. Mr. Danger, in fact, rolled away somewhere. You used your powers to avert that woman's fate. So I did all that, huh? You most certainly did. And I knew you could do it. I lost my life tonight. Saved somebody else's life. Wait, 
came back to the person and it was raining. That saved the life of the stranger, now sitting forlornly in the rain. Even as the story of my life on this planet comes to an end. That word strikes a chord, and a terrible truth, truth begins to jar. Jar, I mean, darn. I can't recall a thing. Who am I? What is this place? And most importantly, why was I killed? Your story isn't over yet. Who exactly are you anyway? Just call me Ray. As in Ray of Light in the Darkness. <laughs> Ray, huh? So you aren't going to tell me your real name, I take it? You haven't told me your name yet either, actually. I, I can't remember. Yes, I guess the memories of the newly departed tend to be, get a bit confused. Some of us get our memories back, others never do. But if you ask me, does it really matter? After all, there's only one path left to the dead, and that is to disappear. Disappear? When the sun rises in the morning, I'm afraid you're going to cease to exist. What? what? Tomorrow morning? Wait a minute. These powers of the dead. Yes? I like to use them to save somebody else's life. And, <clears throat> and whose life might that be? Do you even have to ask? Mine, of course. Ah, I see. But think about it this way, if we could use ghost tricks to save ourselves, wouldn't, ha wouldn't I have tried it? Tried to save myself as well? I mean, look at me, I'm a desk lamp. Why desk lamp anyway? I'm not really sure myself, to be honest, but in it any case, it seems we are unable to use our powers on our own corpses. You're kidding. You'll only exist in this world until tomorrow morning. I'm afraid that fact can't, can't be changed. So there's, there's really no escaping my own death? In the morning, I'm going to cease to exist. Apparently there's nothing I can do to change that. But just the same, I still want to know. I want to know my story, the last story of my fate, right up until the time of my death, and until I learn that. You won't be able to rest in peace, right? Very well, I understand how you feel. You want to go... Go and learn the truth about your death as, as well you should. I will, but let's see. How should I go about doing that, I wonder? I can't even imagine what the first step would be. First step, that's easy. You start with her. The person who witnessed your death, she should have some important clue, don't you think? Hey, you're right, and not only that, she might even know who I am. Yes, I'd say there's a very good possibility of that. What was I doing, in, doing here tonight in a place like this? That woman would... That woman probably did That woman probably knows that woman the answer. Probably knows the answer. That's right. Never forget that. She's the key to everything tonight. 
key to everything. What do you mean? You'll know soon enough when you regain your memory. Yeah, I'm like a blank sheet of paper right now. I should probably keep some kind of record of everything I learned tonight. Um, that's a very good idea. Press the L to view a record of what you've learned. And memories aren't always the most reliable things after all. I think... Yeah, up, I assume it just auto-updates, yeah. but you have to look back on it every so often. Basically, for if you, like, for when you, like, to freshen yourself off up, uh, after play sessions. Ah, okay. If you haven't played for a couple of days. Gotcha. Alright then, I wish you good luck. So, are you... Oh. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Then to the umbrella. Yep. I skip the thought but what he says he's not the kind of guy to let a lady spin out in the room. Hmm. That's no problem for ghosts like us, as long as your target's not too far away. Just like you do with your own thought bubbles. If you tap the thought thought bubbles of the living, you can listen in on what they're saying. Maybe I'll just take a little listen. Always watch for the thought bubbles of the living. They might give you some important clues. What in the world just happened? The crane moved all by itself, and then the big iron ball fell all by itself. It started raining all by itself, and then an umbrella came down all by itself. Oh my goodness! Don't tell me I have psychokinetic powers. That... That is not... Is true in a manner of speaking. She's really gonna go for... Go for it, isn't she? God, that was the cutest little meow. Meow, meow, meow. Seriously, what in the world just happened? What's this? Some kind of note? Did I write this note? Maybe I should give it a read. So you don't remember writing it, eh? No, I, no, I don't remember writing it. But even more importantly... The phone. I didn't get a chance to read that note. Not to interrupt your train of thought, but I wonder if you've realized where this telephone call is coming from. Huh? How would I know that? Think back. Before you helped her avert her fate, didn't the telephone call come in at around this time, too? Oh, yeah. That telephone call. Exactly. In other words, at this very moment on the other end of the telephone line, 
is the culprit who ordered your mor murder. What? I recommend you possess the telephone. Once you've done that, I'll tell you about another one of your ghost tricks. Trick time. And then I saw him. Right on the other end of the line, I saw the face of the man who ordered me dead. Is it down? Hmm. Speak up, man. Speak. I'll, I'll give you another. Uh, there's another character I'll have you always. Alright. Speak up, man. Did you get her? Hmm. Who is this? Hmm. Yes, a thousand pardons, my dear lady. I must have down, down the wrong number. Ha ha ha! Chase the computer! So that's him, eh? The man who stole my life? That's right. So, what do you think? Think? Would you like to go see him? You better believe I would. Then you would do well to listen to me. We ghosts exist by possessing an inanimate objects. However, there is one way we can move from place to place over great distances. And that would be? The dead can jump from point A to point B by moving over the bone lines. Say what? I've done all I can do to help you. You'll have to do the rest by yourself. Not coming with me? I'm afraid not. My powers have grown weak. I've already used up most of my remaining strength just to get you just to get here tonight. But I had to come up to ask for but I had to come to ask for your help. My help? Many mysterious things will happen in this town tonight. I'm trusting in you to get to the bottom of them and find out the truth. You're the only one who, who can do it. I want you to use your powers of the dead to find this truth. I'm grateful to you for everything you've done, but I can't promise I'll help. Hmm? Tomorrow morning, I cease to exist. That doesn't give me a whole lot of time. I need to pursue my own mystery, find out the truth about myself. That's more than enough. Huh? If you succeed in doing that, you'll have done what I asked anyway. The two are, are one and the same. One and the same? Hmm. That Deathslamp knows a whole lot more than he's telling me. Now then, from that call a moment ago, you now have the culprit's telephone number. The rest is up to you. Bill and Ted's excellent adventure for the NES, anyone? Sorry, it just reminded me of that. Yeah. So the story of the search for myself begins. A story that will only last one, that will last only, maybe, one night only. I keep wanting to reverse the words. Tomorrow morning, I will cease to exist. And I'm surprisingly okay with this fact. I have to find the answers before the sun comes up. Why was I killed? And what exactly is going to happen in this town to me?